Everybody. Today we're going to be showing you how to install the Instratec Ignition NCAT upgrade. To begin, we're going to start by unplugging the NCAT furnace from the wall. We're going to remove the front panel from the NCAT. To do this, you're going to remove the four screws along the top of the panel with the Phillips head screwdriver. We've already removed these screws, so we'll drop the front panel down, exposing the electronics of the NCAT. Now we're going to continue by removing the cables from the back of the NCAT front panel. We're going to do the ribbon cable, the printer ribbon cable, the ground wire, the two switch connectors, three ribbon cables from the board, one here, one here, one here, the power cable, and finally the connector on the board. On newer model NCATs, you will have quick disconnect cables to unplug these connections, as shown here. So let's go ahead and get started. When it comes to the power switch, please make sure that the red cables located at the top are marked and the black cables connected to the power switch are also marked they will need to go back in this sequence on the new ignition front panel upgrade. Now we will take out the ribbon cables. There are three of these. The power cable and finally the connector on the board. Now with all the connectors removed, we're going to remove the end cap printer. To do this, we'll remove this bracket and the printer will come out the front uh, part of the panel. We're also going to remove the plug, the power switch from the end cap uh, at this time as well. So to do this, we use a Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two screws on top. Now we're going to use a flathead screwdriver to remove the switch. The switch has four different tabs along the front and the back of the switch. What you want to do is use your screwdriver to push in on these tabs till you can hear them click and then there's going to be two on the back as well. You'll push on those and slowly walk the switch out till it pops out. Now that we removed the bracket and printer and switch from the NCAT front panel will set them aside to be used with the ignition front panel upgrade. Next, we're going to remove the entire NCAT front panel from the NCAT furnace, leaving the hinges on the frame. To do this, there are two nuts on each hinge and a Phillips head screwdriver screws on the bottom of the hinge. This part's a little bit tricky, but what you do is you will loosen the screws from the bottom of the front panel and then with your hand start moving the nuts away from the screw till both screws come out in the hinges free from the front panel. So let's go ahead and try that. There's the first nut. And there's the second nut. Now just repeat this on the other side 
and the front panel will come free. Now we're going to remove the connections and wires from the door solenoid and door solenoid switch. Locate the door solenoid on the end cap frame towards the back of the unit. And remove the red and white wires from the door solenoid. Next, you're going to locate the yellow and black wires from the door solenoid switch here and here and remove these two connections as well. Next, we're going to remove the door switches from the end cat frame. To do this, there are two screws holding the switches in place. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screws on each side. You'll want to save these parts for use later on in the installation. Next, we're going to remove the back cover of the NCAT furnace. To do that, we'll remove all the screws from the perimeter of the back panel and all the screws from the perimeter of the NCAT tray. We've removed most of the screws already, so let's just do the final ones. Next, we're going to want to remove the entire NCAT tray from the furnace. In order to do this, we're going to want to pull back the tray slightly and on newer model NCATs, look for a red and white quick disconnect on the back of the tray. If those are present, disconnect each one and the tray will slide out. On older models like this NCAT, we're going to want to remove the thermocouples as well as the elements from the back of the NCAT furnace. Now let's continue by removing the connections to the elements and the thermocouples. To do this, we're going to want to make sure we label everything because we're going to have to reconnect this after the install of the ignition front panel. We've done that by looking at the labels on the furnace and then marking each wire accordingly with two dots. So for T1, we have one dot. For T2, we have two dots and so on. We're also going to remove the ground and these two connections uh, in the middle. So let's go ahead and do that. We've already loosened the nuts so they come off easily. Next we'll do the ground. You can just use a regular Phillips head for this. And finally, remove the center connectors. Next, we're going to take the element wires and feed them through to the bottom of the tray. All the wires in the back will feed through the small holes to the bottom, as well any connections and the ground. This will give you access to move the tray further back. To access the thermocouples for the furnace and the chamber, which we'll disconnect now as well. We've marked each one with an F and a C to make sure they're put back once we install the ignition front panel. Now that everything's disconnected, we'll remove the entire tray and get started in the next step. 